Hello everyone! Welcome to the world of English! So today, we will talk about science and health writing again for its part 4. How to write a science feature? Do Interview a variety of people Have a clear angle Get your facts straight don't waffle. Don't put all the interesting stuff in the first 500 words. Write in a monotone. So how to write a feature article in science? So you are going to interview a variety of people. So you need to interview um, different kinds of people, different group of peoples with different culture also to gain more information about what you are uh, trying to write in a science feature then you are going to have a clear angle you need to direct to the point so you are going to get your facts straight okay yes uh, when you say science it is all about facts the basis are facts Okay, so you are not doing this, so you should not, don't be waffled. Then, don't put all the interesting stuff in the first 500 words. So, you need to um, use many words, um, which is not so much interesting in the 500 words. Okay, so you are not... Uh, doing this so your write-ups or your science articles should be in um, different kinds of tone so it is not monotone so science editorial focus on the facts so here if there is a science feature there's also a science editorial so we tackled all about uh, we already tackled about uh, science news then science feature and today science editorial so focus on the facts so you are going to focus all the facts you've gathered in your uh, for your article so analysis of the issue must be based on scientific facts and following the scientific methods. So, so analysis of the issue, okay, you are going to use the scientific method. So, when we say scientific method, uh, this is the logical way in solving a problem. So, from, uh, there are seven steps. So, from, uh, from observation, so you gathered uh, data from your based on your observation until drawing conclusion. So that scientific method can help you to uh, to analyze some issues in your article. So assumptions raised must be based on solid logic and the following the and following the scientific method. So here, um, as we read. The Guardian view on Ebola fighting fear as well as infection. The virulence of the Ebola virus is not in doubt, but no prescription to deal with it will do any good unless honesty and calm are part of the mix. Okay, so that's um, an example of science editorial. What issues in your community are affected by science? So here are uh, the issues in our community that that are affected by science. So these are the weather, the health, food, and technology. We all know that in those words. So self-explanatory for that. So, the writing exercise says, okay, you can write a science editorial by yourself. Okay, so here, 
science cartoons. Cartoons are a great way to make learning science fun. Just like in newspaper, um, the editorial page contains cartoons. So, that's what we call cartooning. So, in science editorial, you can also use cartoons so that uh, your article, uh, the readers become more interested in your article. So, that's the example. So, we're over, we're over our energy quota again. What should we do with the excess? Store it as, as fat. We've been doing that kind of a lot lately, true. Shouldn't we maybe stop? No, you fool. We might need all this energy someday. So, that's another example of, an, of a science editorial. So, fun exercise, one panel science co comic based on geeky pick-up lines. So, here, your presence in my life is like your vocational microlensing. And I can see things I didn't know existed before. You must be a red blood cell. BC, you take the oxygen away from my lungs and straight to my heart. Okay, so in Tagalog, um, you can use uh, science or you can use this in your article. Yung mga tinatawag na hugot lines. Okay? But, with the use of uh, terminologies in science. So, sample science article. The Sinag ng Pag-asa. Okay, this is a sample science article in Tagalog. Okay? Or in Filipino. Sa kasalukuyan, ang Pilipinas ay nakaranas na ilan sa mga suliraning pangkapaligiran at pangkalusugan. Tulad na lamang, Nang unti-unting pagkakapos sa pinagkukunan ng enerhiyang elektrikal na pangunahin nating pangangailangan sa pang-araw-araw nating pangumuhay. Ayon sa kagawaran ng enerhiya, isa sa pangunahing pinagkukunan nating ng nasabing enerhiya ay ang isla ng malampayan na kailan lamang ay nagkakaroon ng pansamantalang shutdown ng mga transformers na kuryente na nagtutulot ng malawakang brownout sa malaking bahagi ng Luzon. Maaaring isa na iyon na palatandaan ng kakapusan. Kaya naman ang nasabing departamento, katulong ang iba pang kasapi ng ating gobyerno, ay nagkakaroon ng isang natatanging solusyon, ang paggamit ng enerhiya mula sa araw o mas kilala bilang solar energy. Paano nga ba ito makakatulong sa hinaharap nating krisis ngayon? Epektibo ba ito maging sa ating kalusugan? Ang solar energy o enerhiya mula sa araw ay isa sa pinakamahalagang enerhiya sa ating buhay. Ito ay nagtataglay ng iba't ibang vitaminang kinakailangan ng ating katawan at hindi lang yan. Ito ay isang alternatibong mapagkukunan ng liwanag para sa madilim nating mga buh mga bahay pati na rin ng ating mga buhay sa pagkakaroon ng ganitong solusyon mukhang dumating na ang sinag ng ating pag-asa upang malagpasan natin ang suliranin magagamit natin ang enerhiyang ito sa pamamagitan ng pagkakaroon o paglalagay ng mga solar panels sa ating mga bahay o barangay Maaari ding gumawa tayo ng panghalinang magbibigay ng liwanag sa ating bahay tuwing gabi sa pamamagitan ng isa't kalahating litrong bote ng soft drinks at lagyan ito ng chlorine pagkatapos ilagay sa mga but sa may butas ng bubong at yan mayroon ka ng solar energy power. Sa larangan naman ng kalusugan, maaari tayong lumabas ng bahay upang magpaaraw sa takdang oras mula ikaanim ng umaga hanggang ikasyam lamang. Sapagkat ayon sa kagawaran ng kalusugan, ito lamang ang takdang oras dahil kapag sumobra ka na ng ikasyam ng umaga, maaaring masunog na ang iyong balat at masira ang mga skin cells mo. Bakit maaari itong gawin? Ang ganyang kaugalian ay ipinapayo sa mga tao 
dahil maraming sustansya ang iyong makakamit na makakatulong sa iyo upang kalusugan mo'y mapabuti. Ganyan kahalaga bilang alternatibong mapagkukunan ng enerhiya ang solar o ang araw. Kaya naman, hindi maitatangging mahalaga at importante ang enerhiya mula sa araw dahil sa mga bagay na kaya nitong ibigay at gawin na hindi hindi kayang palitan ng alinman. Buong puso kong sasabihin, maraming salamat amang araw. Dumating na nga ang sinag ng pag-asa. Ito ay sinulat ni Angelica Contreras sa Uh, sa kanyang The Quest. Okay, so, advice to science writers. So, these are the uh, remembers or the reminders, rather, for the writers in science. So, guard yourselves against misleading details and conclusions due to flow data, collection, analysis, and interpretation. So, you need to guard yourself. So, you need to write only what are the facts. Okay? Interview as many experts as possible before reporting on a scientific claim. Because you, you, should, not be, uh, you should not claim which is not uh, or you don't have basis for that. So, plagiarism is big no. So, your idea must be your own idea. It must be original. Your article should be original. Came from you, came from your mind, and from your hands. So, plagiarism is big no. Because, if plagiarism, if you commit plagiarism, uh, there is a consequence for that. So, so much for that. So, I hope you understand well um, how to write science and health writing and, uh, the, and the different kinds of science, science article. Okay. So, that would be all. So, this is the last part of the science and health writing discussion. Good day, everyone. See ya on my next uh, tutorial vlog. Or educational.